Getting right into it. Found of Dreams. Up thrown air. Noise. I'm surprised Prof didn't go for a platform tech chase, but what do I know? Up throw. Oh, just gets the guaranteed up tilt. I like it. Oh. <laughs> I, love, I love that edge guard. That's such a good edge guard. Wow. Come on, dude. Oh, okay, Jamie. I'm joined here by my boy Andrew. What's up? What's up? What's your tag, Andrew? Tell the people. It's uh, it's Young Pink. Young believe Pink? it or not. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty so good. We're here with Young Pink. Yeah, just got out of uh, out of uh, brackets there. Won a match. Lost two matches. I'm happy. What happens, dude? It happens. That's how the cookie crumbles, especially early into the game. It's so close. Probably just a little too close, I think. No, no, no. They they were both really hot. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I almost won game two against Mule. I was so close. He didn't even SD or anything. I felt so you just, good. You just like Pikachu'd him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just Pikachu'd him. You it just was Pikachu'd good. him? It uh, was good. Oh, and I was ahead on the last stock, too. But he's he's so good, Milo. He's so man. good, dude. He's he, crazy. He's young, too. He's only in high school. Him and Lacroix, like, Jesus. Well, Lacroix just graduated recently. He's he's done. Oh, that's true. Um, but I, forgot, I forgot it was uh, that time of year. Yeah, Greg's a kid, but no, I think Greg was Greg was out of high school for a year now. Was he? Yeah. Oh, cool. He's young, but he's not, like, a kid anymore. Yeah, He was true. in, like, mid-early high school when I met him. Oh, yeah. I met him, like, four years ago. And he was, like, a little 16-year-old chump. A little 16-year-old. Playing Pichu for fun with his friends. So we actually have a Florida player on stream right now. Cool. Talks his own prof. Oh, he's sponsored? He is sponsored. He's, he's from Florida. Prof, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. He's all the way up here just to uh, play around <laughs> on the lake. <laughs> Damn. You're done, son! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, um, Prof kind of running a clinic on Jamie, just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Which one, uh, which one is, which one's Prof? Who's from Florida? Striped Sweater. Striped Sweater? Oh, Striped Sweater. He, he kicked my ass in friendlies. It, wasn't even, it wasn't even close. He oh. is some else. Yeah, he's something 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 else. Yeah, that's so true. Greg do has like, he has experience, but he doesn't have like mm -hmm. good experience. I just played against uh, Marth Delirium. Mm -hmm. He was really good. Matt's he pretty good. Kicked my ass. I Matt, got uh, Matt, I Matt, win. Matt's really good. Two zero, yeah. I was playing Matt in some friendlies earlier. Mm -hmm. Ran a clinic on me. Matt always runs a clinic on me. He has, he plays a playstyle that I just can't fight. I don't know how to fight it. <laughs> I just lose. Oh? Is he up, oh. uh, do you know why he's up here in Ottawa? What's he, uh, what's he doing all the way here? Gommel. And he's sticking around, eh? Yeah, just stayed for a week. Oh, yeah. He was on the, he was on, um, Nun's stream for a little bit. Was he? Yeah. Got a celebrity around here. Reminds me of, uh... Hmm? Oh, he's got family in Ottawa. Get a load of that. Cool, cool. I was wondering, I was saying <laughs> he, he must have family somewhere around here. <laughs> Thank you, journalist <laughs> Ye Fang. <laughs> Did you ever, uh, did you ever catch that uh, podcast? Someone came to Ottawa. They interviewed uh, a bunch of people at the Smash Weekly. Which one? Um, it was the Carlton uh, midweek broadcast. Someone came by. They came by Ottawa and they uh, they interviewed a bunch of people. They got us uh, highlighted on uh, at Carlton radio station. Oh, nice CKCU. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I haven't checked it out yet, though. I know I'm on there somewhere, but I keep forgetting to look it up. Uh, I haven't done a. I actually did a show for CPCU like a uh, long time ago. I was a guest for one thing. I was doing a show. Yeah, for jazz or something? Uh, no, for a musical. Cool. But uh, let's talk about the game. Yes. <laughs> Manuel's on it? Variance is on the, the podcast? Oh, nice. Noise. Shout out to Emmanuel for being the voice of Melee in Ottawa <laughs> on this or on the Carlton Carlton uh, radio show segment. Oh yeah. And Prof cleans it. So this is a uh, best of five. Best of five? Yeah, Jamie got smoked game two as well. There we go. Pokemon Stadium, I like this pick. I like this pick a lot. Absolutely. Fox I think Jamie. Best stage. 
I think Jamie acknowledges that Roth is going to get combos no matter what stage he's on. Mm -hmm. So he might as well pick one that benefits killing other than neutral. Exactly. Don't save it for later. Don't save your counter pick. Just go for it if you're behind. I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. For sure. As a dirty chain grabber, <laughs> I love FD. <laughs> I love it. Uh, filthy, FD. filthy chain grab. They don't ban FD. I, I pick it. I pick FD so <laughs> quick. I'm just like, oh, can I chain grab you? I pick FD. FD's a classic. That's like going home for lunch from school. Got an hour to kill. Play FD with your friends. <laughs> just FD. Chain grab them. Oh yeah. <laughs> FD Pokemon balls only. <laughs> Ooh, misses that up air. Jamie second least on life. Actually up this game. I didn't miss the kill actually, but. Jamie's uh, second counter pick is definitely working out for him. There he goes. He's going to build up some momentum. That's another reason why it's great to pull out your best counter pick when you're down. Because you start building momentum, you feel better about the game. And then even if you're not on your best stage later, you just know you're into it. Yeah, you're feeling good, dude. You're feeling good. But uh, I don't know if Jamie necessarily considered Dreamland to be his best counter pick more than he considered it to be his Marth counter pick. <laughs> That's true. It's all about the matchup. Well, a lot of people are like stage pickers dependent on matchup, and other people are stage pickers dependent on feel and personal like oh, that's right. preference. That's, yeah, play style, play style. Like I personally, no matter the matchup, usually don't go Dreamland. Mm -hmm. I would never go Dreamland solely because your character it's... sucks on it. <laughs> Honestly, it's no fun. It's such a long stage; the kills take forever. Dude, it, they I do. Just wanna, I just want to get in there, have fun. If you're fighting a floaty. Out. Oh my god. Dreamland is the <laughs> worst for Pikachu. Jeez. Just the worst. Oh yeah, I kept in friendlies. Oh my god, just Jigglypuff and uh, Pikachu friendlies on Dreamland. Oh, Oof. Lasts forever. Speaking of Dreamland, this stage is not that. <laughs> <laughs> I can get sidetracked here. Jeez, it's, too easy. it's too easy. Jamie Marth Killers, which would have sealed the deal on Prof if he was close enough to actually get to the ledge. So, Jamie keeping this uh, game three really close. Okay. Okay. Going for a lot of grabs. Miss space drill. Oof. Prof is just really good at uh, zoning him out with those short hop fares, too. Mm hmm. Keeping at it. You're, it's, it's, from the looks of it, I feel as though it's like, really scary to approach Prof because his dash in's game is really good and his walling game is really good. Yeah. It's I don't I don't know how to approach people like that. They're like it is a tough you, game to play. How do you fight that? Up throw, no combo. I love it. <laughs> Grab him. Oh, there we go. There's some. Ooh, mix started. up. I like that mix up. Funky hitbox on the up smash there sends him flying forwards and down. Take what you can get. <laughs> <laughs> no grab ledge. Ooh, so close. I always grab ledge in that situation. Never trust them, Mark. They're always going to side B stall, and if you press Z, they're going to grab that edge on you. They're going to grab that ledge, dude. I like to fire stall it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because like a lot of Marth recoveries in this matchup, if Marth, like, if you're on the ledge and you're invincible, mm -hmm. and you fire reset, reset, you fire reset your invincibility, mm -hmm. oh, Prof 3 O's. Damn. Good stuff to, uh, to Prof. Yeah, he's got Good stuff to Jamie putting up a fight game three. This guy looking like he could have taken it. Yeah, it I believe like in you next time, Jamie. Gonna be a lot of tough competition then. Mm -hmm. Who's, who do we have up against Prof? We've got, I know, Sauce is here. Prof moves on, but Sauce and La uh, Sauce Lacroix are uh, oh. winner semis right now. And I don't know if they're, they've already played or if they're currently playing. That's a close they one. They are currently say. playing. They're currently playing on the side. So we're gonna have a uh, Prof versus the winner of that in winner's finals. Winner's Let's spots. take a look at... Uh, is Milo... Uh, I hope Milo's made it I think it all Milo's in losers right now. He is in losers. He beat me, so he's guaranteed uh, winner's semis. Or yep. uh, losers round four. If he's Frosty, now he's uh, playing I'm Michael, by the way. Another uh, net, net play Falco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, I have played him all the time. Netplay Master. <laughs> Always on there. Netplay Master Falco. He's like silver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Really? Uh, something like that, yeah. So I saw the silvers out there. You can do it. It's because he's, he's having fun with DK. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't see... I might go, by the way, no offense, of course, but I don't see him winning this. I know... Uh, the he, tournament? He's No, this uh, this round against oh. Milo coming up here. I see Milo for sure passing through. Is that what we're going to show on stream next? Not sure. What is I'd be down to watch that. I would too. I'd be hella down to watch that. But what I was saying about the fire stall with Marth versus Fox. So say um, I'm Fox. I'm on a ledge. And there's Marth over here. 
Mm -hmm. Trying to get back to the ledge. Yes. I'm giving visuals. <laughs> I'm falling, I'm there's falling. a stage here. And, Mar <laughs> and there's a fox here and there's a Marth here. Okay. And I'm, I'm fox and I'm on stage and I'm fire stalling. Let's say they're here and they have be into my fire stall. I'm still invincible. Mm -hmm. They get clipped. Yeah. I can shine them. There you go. They die. That's it. That's or death. if they're coming down, I'm fire stalling. I'm still invincible. They do that d doofy forward B, like right at the ledge, the Marth, <laughs> the Marth killer, the actual Marth killer, mm -hmm. where they get forward B too high, and you're invincible, and they get hit by the fire, and you back air them because they're high, and they bounce up. That's it. There's so many different I, ways to kill Marth. Yeah, hypothetical win-win. There's, there's not too much Marth can do to beat Firestall. Not right. too much, but I mean, there's always mm -hmm. something you can do. That's what we see. <clears throat> Every action has an equal opposite reaction. That's true. That's that is, really... That's, that's everything, dude. Life. It's entropy. Full, full metal melee? Yeah, melee, of course. Melee is entropy. We were just talking about this. Melee and soul searching. <laughs> it's therapeutic. So, this is a scar conversation <laughs> if there ever was one. <laughs> melee! When you play Super Smash Bros. <laughs> melee, you oh. search for your soul, <laughs> and you look for their soul, <laughs> and you soul counter them! You read their soul! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that's, a a, that's a 7 out of 10 impression. That's solid. That's solid. <laughs> I was doing it on my buddy's... Uh, I was playing Netplay with one of my buddies. Mm -hmm. He's a streamer. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to pull it out in one of his segments. Because he, 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 we just uh, established that he can run Netplay with me mm -hmm. and stream at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which he's never been able to do before. Okay, okay. So he's going to put me on as a... Uh, we're going to do some 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 uh, melee on a stream cool. for his for his viewers. Do you get to like solo commentate his one man stream on that play? No, 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 no. We'll we'll just be playing each other. Okay. And just like memeing around. He plays Samus. Samus. Oh, is that uh, is that that Puffin? No, no, no. He's not from Ottawa. He's from London. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, his name is. Uh, I'm gonna put his name in the chat. Ramen. I think I've seen uh, this. Ryan. Ryan. Ryan MZ. Ryan. Ryan MZ. Ryan MZ. He's one of the admins of the Smash Discord Ontario server. Cool. Yeah, I've got to. Uh, I've got to get onto that. So I'm gonna. I'm, I'll invite you right now. How about that? For sure. Let's do some. Let's do some clerical work while we have nothing on stream. So 